Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. This video will serve as an introduction to a new playlist I formed titled Flat Earth. Could it be true? Well, first let me start off by making everybody aware that I am a practicing skeptic. There's a kind of a creed that uh, I read a few years back. I don't know who originally wrote these words, but I've memorized them and I, I actually try to apply this. And I think this is wisdom. I recommend this to everybody. And the saying is um, skepticism is the antiseptic for your mind. Remember why we debate. The only thing we have to lose are the errors that we hold. Who but a stubborn fool would hold on to their errors once they've been exposed? So with that philosophy uh, as an operating principle, uh, I have taken mm, my uh, view of uh, what various positions. It doesn't matter if it's uh, a, a question of faith or a question about history uh, or science or politics, I've applied this philosophy. And because of that, because of skepticism, being willing to consider that maybe the position I'm holding is wrong. Let me hear the opposing point of view. Let me give it a fair hearing. Let me set my prejudices on the bookshelf, set it aside temporarily with an open mind, really listen to different points of view. And because I've uh, practiced that attitude, uh, I have actually changed my position on some uh, doctrines of faith, uh, some views of history, some political philosophy, and certainly some views of science. But I also feel that before I depart from a mainstream position, I, I've got to have a lot of proof. I, I, I'm not going to float from one position to the next on a whim. So if I've changed the position, rest assured, there was probably a year or two of thought and study put into it before I decided to leave the mainstream, leave the, the traditional viewpoint or what would be called orthodoxy. But in some cases, because of study, because of an open mind, uh, I was persuaded that the majority position's wrong. Now, so uh, if you leave the mainstream, you're going to probably lose popularity and suffer a lot of criticism. But another philosophy that I have to uh, uh, embrace and use because I have to be true to myself. I have to be honest with myself. And that is that truth must always trump popularity. If in my search for the truth, I discover that the minority position is correct and I know if I leave the mainstream and 
join the minority position, there will be consequences for me. Loss of popularity, loss of credibility, ridicule, taunting, all these things happen when you leave the mainstream. But truth trumps popularity for me. Well, this subject, the subject of this video and this new playlist, uh, the, is the earth flat or is it spherical? I didn't even know that anybody living at this time in history thought that the earth was flat. Probably no more than a, a little more than a year ago, I first heard some people talking about the, the flat earthers. And I thought that they were talking about maybe just a, a handful of backward ignorant people. Uh, and, and so I pretty much dismissed it. But I, it didn't take long before I started to discover that uh, there were more people holding that viewpoint than I thought. And it turns out that some of my closest friends and allies held that position. Now, these friends of mine, um, I, I really respect them. Uh, I even admire them. I admire them for their integrity. I, I admire them for their intelligence. Some of them have a, are highly educated with very advanced degrees. Uh, and yet, they told me that they no longer believe that the earth is spherical, that it's flat. And not only that, they, they believe in geocentrism, which is that the earth is the center and the objects are moving around the earth rather than the sun being the center and the objects moving around the sun. Well, uh, I, my first reaction was that that's crazy. How is it possible for this person who I've known so long and, 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 uh, admire and respect their intelligence that they could have come to that conclusion. But using my philosophy of, of um, being willing to hear people out who have a different point of view, I try to politely listen and even out of respect to their position and uh, uh, the curiosity and duty, duty to myself to not ignore the question, Luke, could you be wrong? Is it possible that you could be wrong? It could it be, is it possible that this traditional majority viewpoint in the world of heliocentrism and spherical earth, is it possible that could be wrong? Well, as a skeptic, I had to say, well, I'm going to be a skeptic and, and look at the other side of the argument and really consider it. So I, I started to do that about a year ago. And I was actually quite surprised. Initially, I, I saw that, uh, wait, there's, uh, there's a lot of information, a lot of videos, uh, made by a wide variety of people, uh, some very novice, just just your average person, and some people more uh, as serious uh, scientists or science-minded people, and that made videos on this. There was a lot of material on it. And as I, as I looked at it and considered it, I was actually very surprised that uh, there was anything that could possibly even support that idea. But I was far from persuaded. But my initial uh, thoughts were, wow, it's um, very interesting. <laughs> well, uh, I have plenty of time because 
Uh, I've been retired since December of 04. Most of my time goes into studying subjects, mostly theology, and uh, preaching the gospel on, here on YouTube. And, and so I have time, and I was able to watch a lot of videos on this subject. And, you know, uh, there were times where I set it aside temporarily and didn't think about it. And then I was drawn back to it and watched some more. It's, it, it can actually be an addicting subject. I suspect if, if you decide to pursue this and look at this, consider it, that you might get addicted to it and then start after one or two videos say, I need, it's crazy, but I want to watch more of it. Uh, I guess by now I've probably watched maybe a hundred hours of videos. I also, when I started out, I watched some videos supporting flat earth and geocentricism. And then of course I wanted to, since I was impressed with some of their proofs, I said, well, let's see what the other side says regarding debunking it. And I looked at all that. And as I looked at both sides, I became convinced that, well, there's not enough. I'm not convinced enough to, to move away from the crazy. Uh, maybe I moved from crazy to slightly, uh, uh, well, maybe there's something to it, but it's, uh, I'm a long ways from being convinced. Uh, yesterday, I watched a video that moved me all the way from the crazy position to maybe, and now finally I'm at the position of probably, probably flat earth and geocentricism is correct. Now, that might be shocking to you, but as I said, this is not a whim. This is based on a lot of study and listening with an open mind. Uh, this playlist that I started, I put the video that tipped me over to the other side uh, as the first video on the playlist. And it's made by a group of scientists from Brazil that uh, they all hold the position of the spherical Earth and uh, they, they want to put an end to this uh, flat earth, you know, controversy. So they're going to prove that the earth is spherical. And they have seven very advanced experiments that are not, these are not just little things you do in your backyard. There's a lot involved in these experiments, but they're easy to understand. Some of the things as I've looked at this whole last year, a little complicated. I didn't wasn't able to keep up with it, but but these were so simple. Anybody can understand what they're doing, but it requires uh, the scientific knowledge and it requires uh, a lot of equipment. Uh, and uh, you, that's why I put that video first on the list because if you do want to watch these videos, if you do want to look into this, uh, I'd like you to start off with the video that was the most persuasive to me of all of them. And then the following videos are, some of them, they're much more comprehensive. I go into all kinds of related subject matter uh, and it's all fascinating. But that first video, it, I believe with seven different experiments, scientifically proves that the surface of the earth is not curved or flat. So I discovered that yesterday and as I thought about it between yesterday and today uh, I'm thinking this is like one of the greatest days that I've, I've been enlightened and I've, I have this new understanding. And it is revolutionary because uh, the, the, the greatest value of understanding this to me as a Bible-believing Christian, the, the idea that the earth is a ball 
and it revolves around the sun. And we have a solar system and a galaxy and many galaxies in the universe. And our little Earth here is like a grain of sand on all the world's beaches. And we're almost, we're absolutely insignificant in this vast universe. And that uh, somehow, through random chance, uh, life uh, sprung up through some chemical reaction and evolved from simple life to human life. Uh, well, I, I realized many, many years ago that was absolute evil BS. And if you go to my playlist, Science God and the Bible, you'll see that there's absolute proof that Darwinian type evolution is, is a horrible, evil lie that's easily disproven. But why am I relating that to this? Because the greatest harm of believing that the Earth is just one of trillions of stars and we're no different than all these others and we're just insignificant. Um, then that led to thinking that, well, there's no God, there's no creator, there's no... Uh, a biblical account of creation is a fairy tale, and, and all these things have come about, I think, because we, we've come to the conclusion that the Earth is insignificant. But if the Earth is flat, and if the Earth is the center uh, uh, and the, or the sun and objects are moving around us, that means that we are the focal point, and that's really what I believe uh, is true uh, based upon my Bible studies and my understanding of God and theology. Uh, I think that's a very important thing to understand. So that is the greatest value, I believe, of this discovery. And if you discover this for yourself, and you're, then you'll realize that we are uh, special. Our our world here, the earth is special, and humanity is special, and we were created by God. Um, so on one hand, I felt so happy to come to this realization, and on the other hand, a dread. I really know what's going to happen. Um, people watching this video, some people will probably unsubscribe. Uh, uh, many people will make comments saying, Luke, I thought you were smarter than that. Uh, how can you be so deluded, naive, whatever. And, and um, they, they may say that, well, if you're so foolish about this, how can I trust anything else you say? So I know that that will be some of the backlash. And I, I fear that loss, but as I said, uh, I have to be faithful to the truth as I understand it. So, um, I feel that I have a duty to not keep this discovery of mine uh, secret. That would not be honest and sincere. And I also need to join that other those others who have uh, preceded me with this conclusion, uh, so that they are not some uh, minority that is you know, being attacked. I, I, I'll join them, and if, if we're attacked because of this viewpoint, then we'll, I'll be with them. Um, now, I say I've moved from crazy, it's a crazy idea, to a maybe idea, to a probably position. I'm not saying absolute, even though I'm quite convinced, just because I, I believe that uh, I still have to hold on to some skepticism. Uh, and uh, if at some point I'm proven wrong, then I will not be a stubborn fool holding on to an error if I'm proven wrong. But I'm hoping now that uh, if you're watching this, that maybe that you'll be curious. And you, maybe you'll do what I, 
or what I did when, when some of my friends told me about this and I thought, I, I respect them. They're intelligent. They're educated. If they came to this conclusion, I think I need to look into it and, and, and be fair instead of just writing them off immediately as a quack. I hope you'll do the same thing. So go to the playlist and at least watch the first video or two. You know, I'm afraid you'll probably get addicted and watch a lot of videos about it. But regardless of what you decide, thank you for watching and bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.